This podcast is part of Pearson's professional development series for reading and writing instructors. I'm Kim Flockman. I teach at California State University Bakersfield in the English department, and I direct the writing program there. The name of my talk is Integrated Reading and Writing for College Success, 10 Maxims for Developmental Students. Learning for developmental students often depends on more than their basic genetic learning styles. It is also governed by any baggage they may have brought with them from the lower grades, which might include family problems, incomplete language acquisition in all or the language they speak, a lack of respect for education in the home, no sustained reading, no reading at all, no substantive writing instruction, no books or magazines in the home, constant failure in high school, disrespect for teachers or authority figures, and a general lack of guidance in their lives. However, no matter what the aspects of a student's learning environment, he or she can rise above any personal circumstances if we put the responsibility for acquiring knowledge and skills firmly on them. We must believe they can learn the material we have to teach them and perform at a high level if we are going to work in a partnership with them in our classrooms. From my experience with developmental students, 10 specific maxims can help them achieve this level of responsibility and create an environment that will stimulate their best work. Maxim number one, students build confidence in their ability to read and write by reading and writing. Sounds simple enough. By this I mean that students should read and write as often as possible. They should consciously use both reading and writing to learn. According to Kelly Gallagher in Reading Reasons, students should write four times more than we grade which means they should be doing a lot of ungraded writing. Writing just to learn. Ungraded writing doesn't mean we don't count it. We just don't grade it. Maxim number two, students learn best from discovery and experimentation rather than from instruction and abstract discussions. Just like our own children, our students need to discover for themselves how reading and writing work with a little guidance that we provide. Maxim number three, students profit from studying both professional and student writing. From professional writing, they see excellent models of composing, and then they need to discover with the proper guidance how these models work. From student writing, they learn that they too can create such a draft. Four, students need to discover their personal reading and writing processes. Students can read about the typical approaches to reading and writing, but to make them their own, they need to experiment with different reading and writing routines until they find one that suits their lifestyle. This process of discovery alone will be very beneficial in itself. Maxim number five, Students learn both individually and collaboratively. This means you need to build peer work into your classes when you can and then move to individual work as appropriate. As the term progresses, you should reduce the group work and place more weight on individual responsibility for learning. Maxim number six. Students benefit most from assignments that actually integrate reading and writing. Research tells us that optimum learning occurs for all students when they read and write at the same time. This means they should be annotating while they read and reading notes or sources as they write so that reading and writing become two equivalent parts of a continuous cycle. Maxim number seven, students learn how to revise by following clear, constant guidelines. Students revise most effectively from a list of consistent guidelines which should stay the same all term. Revision with no guidance is usually not very successful with developmental students. Maxim number eight, 
students learn grammar and usage rules by editing their own writing. Completing grammar drills and exercises in isolation generally doesn't transfer to writing. To learn grammar and usage rules, students need to identify the problems in their own writing and then think through the solution. Doing the same with a peer essay is also effective. Maxim number nine. Students must be able to transfer their reading and writing skills to all their college courses. Students need to not only complete their reading and writing chores, but also be able to understand what they are actually doing. In other words, they need to be metacognitive about their reading and writing. Only then do these skills have a chance of becoming automatic and natural for these students. Maxim number 10, students must think critically or analytically to succeed in college. This means students must be able to take ideas apart, put them back together, and finally integrate them with their own reasoning and impressions. So here's the bottom line. To get to critical or analytical thinking, which has to be our ultimate goal in college, the primary key for developmental students is metacognition. Once they actually understand how reading and writing work, they will be able to take these skills with them through college and into the workforce. For more podcasts and other resources, please visit Pearson's Professional Development Community site at www.englishinstructorexchange.com.